guys, welcome back to the playground. Glad you stopped by. So today we replaced the Silver Can 380 in the uh, Grasshopper 2 with the Hop Up uh, Sport Tune 380. Um, in order to do that, you need a pinion. Um, you can, well, I've been told you can remove this pinion and press it back onto the other motor. Um, I figured I was going to destroy this motor potentially and potentially harm the other one by, you know, putting stuff on and off because I don't technically have the correct tools to do it. So I ordered um, a set of pinions and I'll put that here so you can see what that is. Um, please, if you're a Tamiya purist, please don't hate me. Yes, it's a red cat part. I'm sorry. Um, it's what I could get the quickest. Um, you actually get two pinions in the package for eight bucks from Amazon. So I really couldn't pass it up. Uh, quick and cheap. Um, the cool thing when you buy the Sport Tuned uh, 380 is it comes with the little sleeves that you have to put on and I'll kind of show all that in here but you get the two little sleeves to put on to the shaft to make it the correct diameter and then you can kind of cramp that clamp that um, pinion down on there um, seemed to go on nice and tight uh, didn't wobble uh, so I think all that is pretty good it, that sleeve that bushing is really really tight um, so I think all that's good uh, bench tested it before we took it out. Everything sounded fine. There's no like changing in pitch or anything. Um, it's not technically the correct pitch, I don't think. I think the pitch in these is 0.08 mod and or 0.8 mod, something like that. And the ones I got are 32 pitch. Um, I couldn't really tell much of a difference. The 0.08 may have had a slightly longer tooth, but you know, for the power this thing is putting out, it's not going to make a difference. So. Let's take it out, see how much better it performs, and then I will put the Sport Tuned in as soon as that pinion gets in. We'll swap this out, put it in here, and then we'll take it out and see what that looks like. And then I'll bring you back, let you know what the final decision is. Are we keeping the 540 in it to bash it around, or is the 380 enough? as a test run um, I ran it for at least 20 minutes um, the motor got up to like 158 so not terribly hot but you know warm and it is going through tall grass and just I was pretty much full throttle the whole time um, I ran it for about 20 minutes on a 3600 milliamp battery and the battery didn't even get hot um, so the battery still had plenty of, of juice left in it um, it was just getting ready to thunderstorm, so I had to, had to call it quits, or I would have just ran the battery out to see how long we could run it. But that's probably going to be a benefit of running the 380, is you're going to get a whole lot longer run time. So if you want a limited budget and want a little bit more pep out of the box, I think this is probably a good route to go. But let's see what the 540 does. Let's see what kind of run time we get off of that, and then I'll make a kind of a wrap up and recommendation.
All right, guys. Well, we have taken out the stock 380, the Sport Tune 380, and now the Sport Tune 540. Uh, winner is bigger's better. Uh, the 540 wins. Um, it definitely has a whole lot more power, a whole lot more, you know, torque, takeoff, oomph, fun, all around, just more enjoyable to drive. Now, I would say if you're getting this for a kid, or this is your first car. I would say get that Sport Tune motor, uh, the 380, sorry, both of them are Sport Tune. Get that 380, put that in, it's it's 12 bucks plus a pinion, 20 bucks, you know, the Sport Tune 540 is only another 20 bucks plus a pinion, so 26, 28 bucks. Um, I would suggest, you know, this is a first car for a little kid, I would say start them off on that Sport Tune 380. It's a great motor. Um, you'll get a whole lot longer run times. They'll be happier playing with it. And, you know, it's basically a pin it and drive. You just squeeze the trigger and, you know, steer, and that's about it. You don't really have to th uh, throttle the trigger at all. With the 540 in it, you do have to, you know, take it a little bit slow around turns because it wants to, to catch an edge and roll over. Uh, the suspension on it is so stiff, it just wants to um, grab an edge and flip. Obviously, you saw in the running video of the 540, you know, this thing is a bucking Bronco sometimes and just does what it wants, so it's going to wreck. Um, the 380s, much tamer and much easier to use. Um, so that's kind of my recommendations. You know, if this is your first car, your first true RC car, or you're getting this as a, a kid for a little kid who's never really driven much, start, start with the 380s. Go ahead and, and plan on ordering the 540. Um, use that 380s like training wheels. Get them used to driving it, controlling it, and all that stuff. And then bump them up. They'll have a blast with it. Um, the way this buggy is shaped, you know, it's gonna it's gonna roll over and take a beating and keep on going. Probably the worst thing you can do is break one of the steering um, knuckles up front, and you can get those pretty easily, cheaply, and quick to replace. Other than that, it should be fairly bulletproof, and you can beat the snot out of them. Um, as you can see in the running video with the gravel, um, does not like gravel, jumps all over the place. But grass and dirt, it's going to do fine. Um, probably dirt ball field or something like that where you can actually get around and slide it around. Um, it, it's, a, it's a fun little car, and this is going to be my beat on car. Um, obviously, a lot of my to me is sit on the shelf. Um, they're memories of childhood. Uh, but I wanted to get this guy just so, you know, if it does get beat up and scratched up and torn up, I'm not going to have any hard feelings about it. So I hope you guys go out, get your hopper, uh, hopper two, hopper one. Um, I would suggest for the money, go ahead and get this one. You do get the oil field shocks. Um, you will get, um, if it's a newer, if it's not been in stock forever, this one does come with the newer speed control. Um, so, you know, it's LiPo compatible and all that stuff. Um, but overall, great kit. I, lo I love the black um, edition version of it. The white looks fine. Um, and again, get crazy with the stickers, especially if it's a kid. You know, you don't have to get, give them the, you don't have to do it box stock stickers. You know, give them whatever their My Little Pony or Deadpool stickers or whatever they have that they're playing with. You know, I'm old. I don't know what kids play with. Um, but, you know, let them stick it up. Let them beat it up. And then, you know, peel off all those and then you'll have these to put back on. You know, you can actually, on these hard plastic bodies, you can take some sandpaper, sand them down, buff them out, and, you know, or just sand them down and paint them and then re-sticker them. So, this video has been long enough, guys. This is kind of just like... Kind of the options, you can go the stock 380, it's a, it's an okay car, you can go with the Sport Tune 380, it's a much more fun, you know, a little bit more excitement, or you can bump it up to a 540. I really don't see the need to, to spend the extra money to get, you know, one of the RZ tuned or, or anything, the dirt tuned or anything like that. At that point, you're just throwing money at it because it's just going to be undrivable, it's just going to bounce and, and you're going to spend more time flipping it back over than you are going to drive it. So. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, throw me a comment down below. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the dislike button, you know, call your mom, all that good stuff. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll catch you again next time. Till then, be happy, be safe. Have a good one.